Good afternoon, Southside. I'm Ashana Price. And I'm Susie Pareda. Today on Hawk TV, we will recap the Miss Southside pageant, the ROTC AMI, and feature one of our basketball players. Hawk TV starts now. <laughs> As the sun steps down and escapes the day We'll calmly walk away, walk away from the frame When the structure falls and all else fails We will build it once again Welcome to Hawk TV. On Saturday, we held the annual Miss Southside pageant. Congratulations to the new 2015 Miss Southside in her court. 4th May, Haley Thornton. 3rd May, Aubrey Neely. 2nd May, Lindsey Gately. 1st May, Katie Long. And your new Miss Southside, Danielle Parrish. There were many girls who entered the pageant who were experienced and some inexperienced. Haley Barnes interviewed a few contestants who were in the pageant for the first time. The Miss Southside pageant took place here at Southside High School on November 14th, and I caught up with some of the girls who participated in the pageant. Uh, for me, it was just all for funsies. I didn't go in hoping to win. I mean, it would have been fun if I did, but I didn't set my standards too high. I mean, I just got a dress and let somebody do my makeup and hair. It was actually pretty fun. I actually had, I really wanted to go back on stage, but I didn't get to call, get called back. But it was actually pretty fun. I had a great time. Just all the weird things that happen backstage at the pageant, and you're like, you're just walking around, and then you hear somebody, oh, can you zip me up? Can you tape me? Can you put this in like a weird position? Can you put my shoe on? It's just people ask for the weirdest stuff. It's funny. Get, get in to get all dressed up, get my makeup done, and get my hair done, and wearing that beautiful dress I had on. Um, don't get butt hurt if you're not top 10 or top 11 like we were this year because at the end of the day it's just all for fun and if you just went and stressed out the entire time then it was completely pointless. Just go out there and have fun and do your best. If you don't win it's okay you got a couple more years if you're not a senior <laughs> but it's okay if you lose or if you win, it's okay, but I had a great time, so they would have a great time too. So don't stress out over it. <laughs> Overall, the Miss Southside pageant was a good experience for the contestants. We'll catch up with Miss Southside herself, Danielle Parrish, on the next episode. For Hot TV, I'm Haley Barnes. Every year, ROTC has annual military inspections, or as many call it, AMI. The AMI was held on October 6th in the East Campus Gym. Hawk TV reporter Alexis Miller has more on this story. Recently, the NJROTC went through AMI. AMI is the annual military inspection. And what we do there is we get an inspection once a year from our boss and he looks to see what we've learned so far over the year. So kids have an opportunity, or cadets have an opportunity to do marching, they do uniform inspections, and they actually do a staff interview. Already off to a great year, the NJROTC has a lot in store. Well, this year is great because uh, we really had a great time on AMI. This year, what we're doing is we've already done a field trip to Milan, where our students had an opportunity to shoot rifles. And next semester, we're planning on going to D.C., Washington, D.C. It wasn't an easy task preparing for the AMI. Um, 
Um, at first it's kind of hectic because you have a bunch of like ones who's just their first year in ROTC and then you know they finally get the hang of it and then we go through it. You know we have AMI practice the day before getting uh, them used to you know marching in a certain way and getting them how to go into a certain formation at a certain time. Besides being a cadet there are other positions. My position is the um, executive officer, cadet lieutenant, Although RTC is serious, they have a little fun by using what they have learned in games. Knockout is where we do our basic um, marching, which is like left face, right face, and about face. And you're calling them either at a slow cadence or a fast pa uh, pace cadence. And it's just like if you're messing up or you're not listening to the commands correctly, you have to uh, drop out and it gets down to like the single person who's usually like one of the best marchers we have. <laughs> For Hawk TV, I'm Alexis Miller with Videographer for Kids Champion. Thanks, Alexis. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Stop it. It makes you stronger. It smooths your skin. And it tastes good too. Mm. Got milk? My South Side is creative. My South Side is free expression. My South Side is Friday nights and leading the student section. My South Side is FFA. My South Side is reminiscing. My South Side is theatrical. My South Side is on key. My South Side is live. Welcome back. There is still room for senior ads in the yearbook. If you would like to purchase a senior ad, please see Ms. Dalton as soon as possible. Basketball season is right around the corner. We recently interviewed some of the players. Here's Jordan Taylor with an interview on Tarandis Smith. Tarandis Smith is a senior on the Southside basketball team. He can play many different positions for the Hawks. I played a two, three, and four. Out of all the positions he has for the Hawks, he does indeed have a favorite. He explains what it takes to play the three. To play the three, you got to be able to do everything. You got to, you know, run the floor, rebound, slash, cut, all of that on offense. Tarandis was chosen as one of 12 seniors in the Jackson Suns area as a super senior. It means a lot because it's my senior year. It's good to be noticed and have a title for doing something good, being recognized for something. Smith is no stranger to the state tournament. He explains how much it would mean to go back in his senior season after missing the tournament for the first time in his high school career last season. It would mean a lot, but if we go, I want to win because it would be like taking the empty trip if we went and we didn't win. So, be able to go out on my senior year with a bang. This is one of the smaller teams that Tyrannis has played on here at Southside. He knows what it takes to get past those tough teams like Lexington and Fayette Ware. We're going to have to stick together and play hard, play as a team, listen to coach, and hopefully it goes well. Smith explains which of these teams is a tougher task and why. I believe it's Fayette Ware. They only lost one person, and that's about it. So they still going to be tough this year, but we should be able to pull through with a win. For Hawk TV, I'm Jordan Taylor. Thanks, Jordan. The Hawks played their first game last night against the Madison Mustangs. The Hawks' next game is November 21st at Crockett County at 2 and 3.30 p.m. Since we've highlighted the boys' basketball team, here's a hype video produced for Our Lady Hawks.
Now look who done stumbled. But we'll take anything and score them like it's a fumble. Night and day, we seek and pray. I guess we have a feast today. Coach C said no to late, so we trying to eat every day. But wait, they say we whack. But yeah, we're watching these bodies that we look to win these games. Like back to back to back, back to back. Now look at you and your crew. Y'all have a day, y'all fool. Y'all coach called town now to blame everything on you. We scored the first two and finished like that too. The game over, so it's all bad for you and your crew. Stay tuned for more after the break, including a story on veterans and more. If you're having a bad day, let our chocolate milk cheer you up. It satisfies your taste buds. It makes your day for weeks. You'll forever be complete. Your day will shine after you drink this milk. Milk is great for you. Recently, we celebrated Veterans Day. Here at Hawk TV, we continue to honor our veterans by spotlighting their contributions to our country. Here's Marquand Co. with more. Wayne Martin, a 1986 graduate of West High, is a 20 year vet of the United States Navy. No, I this is uh, Memphis. At the Memphis. Where, did you, where were you living at the time? Denmark. Why did you join? To see what? Some Shea instructors give you the hardest time in the training experience. Do you recall your first days in the service? Extreme then. <laughs> yes. What did it feel like? I felt like I was in the wrong place. <laughs> boot camp is a tough part of joining any branch of the service. Tell me about your boot camp and training experiences. Boot camp, the first week, I wonder why I was out here putting up with the stuff. Other than that, I love it. Do you remember your instructors? Yep. MS1 LZ, Chief Rudd. <laughs> AOC Chief Rudd. How did you get through it? You smile. <laughs> All right. If any, do you have anything you want to say about this? about this interview that I didn't ask you any other. Yeah, I think everybody should join the military, at least for two years. That way they get to see other, experience other cultures other than what they grew up with. But that way you appreciate being living in America. At the Miss Southside pageant, a pair of talented students provided the entertainment. One of them was Raven Corals. Here's Raven singing Two Black Cadillacs by Carrie Underwood. That's it for this week. Tune in next Friday for another edition of Hawk TV.